everyone, I hope you're all well and welcome back to my channel. So I'm looking incredibly summery today, but we have literally had a heat wave in the UK. It's been super hot, so it's been really difficult to kind of get into the mind frame of filming because it's just so hot. But um, we've got a bit of a cooler period at the moment and I am dressed quite summery, so hopefully um, it won't be too hard to film. But today's video is going to be all about how to style wrap dresses. So if you're unfamiliar with these kind of videos, I uh, post how to style videos every two weeks. So every other week you get a new how to style. And basically what I do is I pick a trend or something that is super popular at the moment and I just show you three different pieces and three different ways to style those. Usually I try to make them kind of casual, uh, as well as, you know, a bit formal, a bit more dressed up. Just try to do a bit of a variety. So for whatever reason you want to sort of delve into this trend, hopefully it works for you and hopefully it also addresses different people and your different styles as well because I know not everybody has the same style. Um, but I personally love making these um, kind of videos. I really like experimenting with my personal style and um, yeah, I like sort of delving into the trends. It gives me an excuse to go shopping, which is always a good thing. So yeah, if you uh, like the sound of these videos, then please do hit that subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it. But without further ado, let's get into it. So first off, we have a gorgeous little wrap dress from AX Paris. It looks a little bit like this. It's got these really pretty frilly sleeves, which I absolutely love. Um, and yeah, it's a, it's a real wrap. I know there's kind of this thing with wrap dresses that some of them are actually stitched together, so you don't actually wrap them around yourself. But this one you do, you wrap it around yourself, tie it at the back or to the side, however you prefer. And it's just a mini, don't know if you guys can see, but obviously I'll do my cutaways. It's so easy to either dress up or dress down one of these wrap dresses. But I decided to dress this particular one down. I feel like red is such a bold color that it can actually seem quite difficult to dress down. It probably seems like something you'd wear to dinner or to drinks or something like that so I thought I'd dress it down and I decided to go for a denim jacket I actually wore a white one um, from Forever 21 which I really do like it's really nice it's not so much oversized but it's also not very fitted so I feel like it's the perfect kind of just juxtaposition for such a pretty kind of girly dress but footwear wise I went for a pair of high top converse I don't actually wear these a lot to be completely honest but for some reason whenever I do these videos I'm always like oh those will look nice yeah those will look nice so I don't know it's just a matter of incorporating these into my own wardrobe I just really like the way it looked these are the classic converse so you know they've got that little red line going through them which I think works really nicely with the red dress as well you know you've got a bit of mixing matching and um yeah yeah, I really like that. I thought it was a nice casual take on the wrap dress. Next I have a midi and it looks a little bit like this. It's like your white mint green blue that sort of colour. I really like it. This one also has a nice um, frilly decolletage. I don't know if that's how you'd say it but that's how I'm going to say it. Um, it's got, again, it's a proper wrap dress so it does tie up, it's got a button on the side and then it ties up um, at the side and it's really pretty. This one is actually a midi so it goes down into quite a long dress but it's kind of got a high-low hem almost so it's really, really pretty. This would be beautiful on holiday and I styled this with a holiday in mind so I decided to go for a straw bag. Well, this one isn't really a proper straw bag um, or wicker bag, you know both work but it's not like proper but it's just a nice casual one for um, the city especially because it's got a zip which I think is incredible. It was also super affordable at only £15 so it was kind of a nice nod to that trend that I was really really loving and just couldn't get my hands on a bag that wasn't ridiculously expensive. But I absolutely love that. So as I said, I paired it with my wicker bag, which I think would look beautiful on holiday. And then I just went for some tan sandals, which I really like. These are actually a low heel and I've been really into low heels at the moment. Um, and I just think, you know, it looks really pretty. I think it's nice in the city. Again, you could easily dress this up. So, you know, it's just a matter of mixing and matching, seeing what works for you, what you want to wear this for. But I think that will look beautiful on a beach holiday with some like low sandals as well. It's just so perfect. And last, but by no means least, we have, I want to say it's my favourite. It probably would be my favourite if it wasn't so short. It's super short, like, you know, it's a holiday piece. Like, there's no way I would get away with wearing this in London. As I was filming this, I was feeling, definitely feeling self-conscious. But if you are shorter, I'm about 5'9", maybe, around there. Um, 
And yeah, this was very short on me, but if you are shorter, this could be beautiful. It also comes in a white colour, but I have the blue to show you. This is from Misguided. It's just beautiful. It also looks so much more expensive than it actually is. Um, it's just a shame that it is so short, like it's really short. But again, we've got the kind of frills going around the uh, chest area. And this one, this is why I keep saying the other two were real wrap dresses. This one isn't. So this one is actually already you know it's like a pretend wraparound or a fake wraparound which is fine by me I feel like you call these tea dresses though but um it's got that kind of design but it's just if you don't want to like faff around with having to tie that up this is perfect I really like this as well it's again a mini a bit too mini on me but um it's just very pretty it's got a bit of a high low going on like not too much but um it's definitely there and um, I decided to dress this one up. So the other two have been like quite casual, sort of your day wear um, and your casual wear. So whilst I did decide to dress this one up, I still wanted it, it to look super summery. So I went for some lace up brown sandals. Uh, these have a much higher heel though. And these are very uh, similar to the Gian Vito Rossi ones. I actually got these from a brand called Simi Shoes. I haven't really seen this color available in other places, but um, a Public Desire and Ego do these kind of shoes as well. It's just a matter of finding the color that you like. I mean, I've got them in black as well. Both get as much wear as each other. I really do like them. And then for my bag, I actually went for a crossbody bag. I know you guys sometimes ask me to show you more bags and I don't know, it's just something I don't do often because people don't really change up their bags that often. Um, like, I mean, I find my everyday bag usually stays that way for a good month or so. So um, yeah, but this time I thought I would try it out and also share a few bags with you. So let me know what you think about that if you would like to see me do that more often as well. And that is basically my look. It's kind of a summery look which I think will be nice for an evening or dinners, drinks, that sort of thing. That's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed watching. As always, please do let me know which outfit was your favourite. Was it number one, number two or number three? Please let me know in the comments down below. I always love reading to your comments and replying to them. So please do leave me a comment if you enjoyed enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also if you are new around here then please do click that subscribe button. I would love to see you here next week and with that said I will see you all in next week's video. Bye!